As you know, Windows 10 is coming out later next month on the 29th of July 2015. And apart from the obvious uh, improvements to the operating system that we will enjoy, Microsoft have decided to completely change the way they sell their product. Unlike before where you had to pay to upgrade your operating system, they're changing the way they market and sell their product because it will now be completely free for one year. That's correct. So if you have a if you are currently running a computer with the following operating systems uh, of Windows 7, 8 or 8.1, yes, from the 29th of July for exactly 365 days, that is one year, you can upgrade to Windows 10 for free. You can upgrade without paying a single penny or if you're in the States, a single dime. All right, so at this stage, I don't really think I need to explain what this tutorial is about. You've obviously found this tutorial because you were searching for a way to fix the missing Windows upgrade icon. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. All right. So as you can see, this is my desktop. And if I show you my taskbar here, you can see that I don't have a Windows 10 upgrade icon. And that's what we're going to be fixing in this tutorial. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to check for updates. So I'm just going to come over here to my file manager. I'm going to go to my control panel, system and security, and I'm going to select Windows Update. And this is very important in terms of the being the first step. We need to make sure that we have installed every single update that there is up to this date. So you need to make sure you select check for updates and if there are any updates even if they're optional I recommend that you install them okay because the Windows 10 upgrade icon comes as part of a update okay so I can already see that um, as you can see here no updates are available so I know my computer is up to date that's not the problem that's that's fine the next step is actually um, fixing this. So, so what I've done is I've come up to uh, simpletut.com, which in case you don't know, is our official community website where we post all of our tutorials. Um, and if you come over to our freebies section, you're going to see that we have posted this. It says fix how to get the Windows 10 upgrade icon if it's missing. Now, if we select that, we can click on download file. And I'm going to download this file to my PC. Now, as you can see, I've downloaded the file uh, to my PC. I'm going to extract using WinRAR uh, the uh, folder. And within this, you can see I have my, um, my fix. Now, you need to run this as admin. So I'm going to right click and say run as administer. Say yes. And right now, it's basically just going to give you some information. You just have to click on any key to continue. And again, it's just giving you some more information, any key to continue. And we'll finally reach the main menu. So what we have to do at this point is select option one first. And this is just going to run a simple check to check that we have the update um, for this. So let's enter one and then click on return. And it's just going to check. This is the update. As you can see, it says it's been installed. That's good. It's checking for the second one. And it says it's installed. And as you can see, it says you are not missing any updates. Congratulations. Press any key to return to the main menu. All right, great. So if you remember, the first thing we did was we checked for updates. Um, well, now you can see why. Because it comes as part of an update. So this first one just enabled us to check that we have indeed got the update. And as you can see, we do. The next options are basically just um, basically going to fix this. The first is a quick method. The second is an alternate method. And then we have a long method. We're going to use um, the first quick method. So I'm going to enter 2 and click on Enter. And as you can see, it has done it successfully. And if you come down here into my taskbar, you can see I've got 
the get Windows 10 icon in my taskbar. So that's great. We fixed it and everything is all good. Okay, so returning to this, I'm just going to click on any key to return to the main menu and then I'm going to select 5 and enter again to close it. I can now delete all of these files and empty my recycle bin. And as you can see, if I click on my Windows 10 uh, icon here, I can now upgrade to Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and thank you very much for watching. I'd just like to encourage you to visit our official community website, simpletype.com. This is where we post all of our tutorials, including that on web development, computing, and even photography, but much more. Uh, some of our most popular tutorials include building a MySQL user registration system, but we also have PHP classes I've shown you in videos how to uh, develop your own responsive website layouts, content management systems, there's tutorials on social networking, e-commerce, and much more. But this is a fantastic learning resource and it does not stop there. We also have a ask a question area on our website where you can post a question about this or any other tutorial or perhaps even a project of your own. We also have a blog and a freebie section which you can use to access even more content. Now before you go, I'd just like to encourage you to actually um, like our Facebook page because this is a fantastic way for you to stay in, time, in contact with us. As we release new freebies, new tutorials, we will post them on our Facebook page and you can even make uh, suggestions for future tutorials all on our Facebook page. But before you go, I would just like to encourage you to check out one of our latest projects cssmenucreator.com. Now this is a fantastic resource for you. It cuts your development time and makes building websites even easier um, because what it does is it writes the code for you when it comes to CSS menus. You can select from our growing range of uh, pre-built CSS menus, use the built-in uh, application to actually uh, build your menu and create your different options for your menu. And then you can actually uh, install that menu on your own website within Dreamweaver or whatever web application you're using to build your website. You just simply copy and paste the code into the website and we have video tutorials show you how to do it on a step-by-step -step basis. Uh, if you would like to make a contribution to our project, then we really would appreciate it. There is a donation button on simpletat.com uh, which you can use to make a contribution to a project. This is also a great opportunity for me to tell you about um, our official website, siteeasy.com, and there'll be a link in the description of this video. This is where we sell a huge range of pre-built websites and scripts and offer custom web design services. Some of our pre-built websites include a pre-built social networking website, um, e-commerce, content management. Um, these all include um, free installations and we offer much more such as property listings or file upload. Um, so it's a great uh, resource for anyone looking for a one-stop solution um, for your, uh, your project. We also offer a number of pre-built PHP scripts which is growing all the time. Um, and these are applications which you can incorporate into your website, such as the pre-built user registration system, digital goods for PayPal, billing systems, comment systems, contact forms, and much more. And all of these scripts can be incorporated into your existing website. They're completely pre-built and you can simply copy and paste them and upload them to your server immediately uh, once you've downloaded them. If you do have any questions, would like to get in touch, perhaps have a custom uh, job, uh, web, de web development project uh, you'd like us to help you with, then please get in touch using any of our websites. We all have, uh, we have contact forms on all of our websites. You can contact us via Facebook. Uh, again, I'd also like to recommend that you like, uh, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.